just ho emceed our 11th, 12th Taste of the Town. Um, we had a, uh, a new event called the Trike Derby, and matter of fact, just today in an all staff, uh, we played a clip of it with uh, Ed out there and seeing the trike race with BMW and uh, whoever else was out there. And it just brings a level of energy to these events uh, that attracts people. It gets our message out there and allows us to deliver on our mission. So he's critical to what we do. Are there any upcoming events? Yes, there is. We just so happen to have the Trike Derby coming up on September 21st. So Grown adults riding tricycles. On trikes. Basically, that's it. And, and <laughs> doing it with like a lot of flair and pizzazz and, and recklessness. It's kind of right. cool. Yeah. Awesome. At a brewery. Oh, yeah. adding to the level of uh, yes. difficulty. Uh -huh. Awesome. So uh, that is Carousel Ranch. What is the website there? We can get some more information. It's Child and Family Center. Oh, Child and Family Center. Yeah, you'll hear about it. Ed's this. involved in so many organizations, I'm losing track of them. Yeah. Awesome. So, Ed, who else uh, do we have representing another one of your so, organizations? Sure. Denise Redmond is here from Carousel Ranch, and, and Denise is one of the founders of Carousel and continues to be. Um, she and her partner, Becky, out at the ranch continue to just do such amazing things for the families and kids in our community. So I'll let Denise tell you more about that. And like Ed said, uh, Ed's been part of Carousel Ranch for about 20 plus years, and we've only been in this valley that amount of time. And it was really Ed at the beginning of time who took an interest in us and got us involved in some things, nominated us for an award that we won, and all of a sudden people started to even know who we were. And here we are 20 plus years later, and there is not one event that we have ever had that Ed has not said yes to helping. And I think that's what makes Ed special. That's what makes him Man of the Year is he's very humble. He hates to be nominated. He doesn't think he deserves to be Man of the Year. And so I love it all the more because it's not just Carousel Ranch and Child and Family and Wish Foundation. It's literally every charity in this valley. Ed says yes at the expense of, I'm sure, a million other things he could be doing in his personal life. And he's always there for all of us. And, you know, and, and like Joan said, that just translates into successful events that enable us to serve children and young adults with special needs in our case. So, you know, um, with Ed by our side, certainly Carousel Ranch has changed over 20 years into a much different organization. And that, you know, that wouldn't be possible without people like Ed that and care. Carousel Ranch, let me give a quick plug. Carousel Ranch presents their 23rd annual Heart of the West event. That's coming up next month. That is coming up next month, and we almost kill Ed during that event with all of the sound and lighting and things that he does for us every year, and he still comes back year after year, and um, that's a tough one to work on, and, and he does it with a smile even at midnight or one in the morning when he's got to come out to help with lighting. So, <laughs> you know, um, he really is so deserving of this title. A live and silent auction, dinner catered by Salt Creek Grill. Nice. Dancing, a casino, and a demonstration provided by uh, Carousel Ranch Riders. More info at carouselranch.org. Ed, congratulations on winning the Thank 2019 you. Man of the Year. Thank you, Aaron. Appreciate it. And uh, Eric, any closing words? Yes, actually, uh, one very important thing and a little behind the scenes, the reason why we are able to donate to Ed and Pam to in turn donate to their charities of choice is because of our sponsorships that really helped us uh, get over the hump and have excess funds to allow us to do this. So this year, again, like last year, it's the county of uh, Los Angeles. Catherine Barger has been great. She's donated again this year, and same with the city of Santa Clarita and specifically Ken Striplin. Both have donated to us so that we can make this all happen. So without that, there wouldn't be any money transferring here uh, without those sponsorships. So a big thank you to them. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for coming in. And uh, best of luck to you guys. Have you guys won the award in previous years? Joan, Denise? No. <laughs> have you guys been nominated? We have. Uh, us personally? We're, yeah. Oh, no. We're, in fact, it's volunteers of organizations, yeah. not staff. So oh. we have nominated people, including Eric, who was Man of the Year the year before that we nominated. So we nice. have... Um, have many people uh, nominated and participate, but certainly we are staff of the organization, so these people that give their time as volunteers are really